guys, hello, another video for you all. Hopefully it's going to help those of you out that, like me, were confused why we couldn't do Into the Radius through Virtual Desktop on our Quest 2 headset. Found a workaround to get it started, so uh, hopefully it helps you out. So this is affecting those of us that bought it on the Oculus Meta Store, whatever you want to call it. We buy it on there for two reasons, really. One, if you check the reviews, people share referral codes, referral links. That gives you 25% off the game. But two, it's also a cross-buy title. So that means you get the version to play standalone on the Quest 2 headset. But those of you that have a gaming PC or might get one in the future, you've also got the PC VR version. You get two versions for the price of one. But the problem we have when we try to load it through our gaming PC with virtual desktop is the main menu is not rendering correctly and that means we can't start the game. Bit of a problem. So the workaround I found is initially not to use virtual desktop. What we want to do is be able to select this top box which would be continue but first of all we've got to have a game to continue from. So instead of using virtual desktop we will use AirLink, the built-in software we're given with Quest 2 to do wireless gaming. Just start your game, save it exit to the main menu then we can switch over to using virtual desktop which many of us find gives a better experience. So I'm just going to head into the virtual desktop settings. So under streaming VR graphics quality I've got it set to medium. This is the sweet spot for me anyway for you know low latency and decent performance. If I went to high it's going to render less of that main menu we won't see that top box in order to tick it. If we went to low we'd see more of the menu but we don't want the lower graphics. So this is unfortunate those who have a high-end PC you'd like to use the higher settings. For the workaround to really work we've got to be at least uh, using the medium preset. So as we go back into the game we can see our box. What we want it to do is go a shade of grey like a shadows cast over it. So I found to put the laser pointer between the O and the T a little bit above it I don't know if you'll make it out in the video, but it does go a shade of grey. So whilst it's grey, hold it there, pull your trigger, and that's continue. It's gone to our last save. Now we're in game, we can push in our menu button and we can get into the in-game menus, open up settings, save, load the game, or whatever. It's just that initial menu that's the problem. It seems to have been a problem for a long time, so I've got no hope of it being patched anytime soon. So it is a little bit disappointing. As I say, those of you that have got a high end PC, you'd like to be using those higher VR settings. Uh, of course, your other option is just to refund it and buy it on Steam if you uh, if you want to do it that way. But we'll leave, leave the video there, guys. Have a great day. Have a great evening, whatever you choose to do after watching this. And uh, I'll see you when I see you next. Ciao for now.